Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. This is your top 10 pre-order comics to buy this weekend only. These books come out in about three to four weeks. This video is going to be super fast, so please stick with me and we'll get through it quickly. Let's go. Okay, as I was saying, this is the final order cutoff due this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you can pre-order everything. DC ends on Sunday, Monday, everything else. Um, there are some pretty, there are a couple bigger books, not a lot of books. There's some cover buys and things we're going to talk about it. Um, this video is going to be this long. That's what she said. Let's go. I hope you watch the whole thing. Throw down a like, subscribe if you're new. Thanks so much. Cover buys. First up. Born of Blood number two, cover A by Ash Maddie. I'm doing a dollar off on this book. Ash Maddie's a sicko. We love him. So pick up a copy for your boy, Ash Maddie. Uh, Catwoman 48, cover B, Sozo Makai. Amazing Spider Man number 12. Now, this is the Goblin vs. Spider Man, but the Shades variant. I don't really like these, but I'm pretty sure that is the first cover appearance. Of the gold goblin in the reflection so might be a possible buy um, axe this is the final issue I believe of axe the archer cover super sick Titan blood pack number two the chew covers dope and this is the final issue of iron cat I like 5a with the Hulkbuster and I like 5b because it's sick okay three books before we get to my top 10 that you might want to look at riddler year one this is about riddler before he became riddler and how he became riddler from the movie image 30th anniversary anthology number seven they're going to do a new story of the witches thing there's a bunch of new stuff in these image books i like these books they're really nice and a new book called damn them all in the new dark supernatural thriller for fans who like we have demons and something is killing the children meet ellie an occultist for hire it's basically like constantine is the best way i can put it that's a new number one indie okay let's get to your top 10 this week rick and morty number 100 there's a bunch of covers um and it's number 100 there you go number nine variants number four I've been enjoying this book with all the different, you know, it's 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 bearable. I like it. There's a bunch of different uh, Jessica Jones characters, and I'm buying it for that. See what happens. Number eight, Batman Beyond the White Knight. Number six, this is about what you've been waiting for. Jason Todd versus Dick Grayson. Who's the best Robin? Now, in number five, which you don't know, which I'm going to tell you in a couple days from now on the top ten new comics for next week. The Joker is in Bruce Wayne's mind. And he's kind of taken over Bruce Wayne. The Joker's dead, I believe. So that could be a good book. Number seven is Strange, number seven. And number six, we learn that the Harvest Men was Doctor Strange. Something's going to happen here. I like the Vecchio cover the best. Number six, Batman Superman World's Finest, number eight. This is continuing the Boy Thunder story. New character that's supposedly ended up being one of Superman's partners. His origin story is very similar in number seven. And this continues, I guess, his training or whatever. <clears throat> number five is X-Men Legends number three. I like the variant Longshot cover. And Longshot's going to be in here. We're going to learn some new things. And I like that book. Number four is Moon Knight Annual number one, Werewolf by Moon Knight. In the Darkhold, there's a prophecy of how a god might die. Jack Russell, more familiar with that curse uh, to me than most, would like very much to kill a god and save his people, the people bound in servitude to the moon. But to, fill the pro excuse me, but to fulfill the prophecy requires the blood of the fist of Khonshu, and Moon Knight doesn't bleed easily, so Werewolf by Night. Top three. Avengers Forever number 10, Ant in a Bottle. So this is going to be a new appearance of a Tony Stark Ant-Man who has an alcohol problem. We'll see. I'm sure it's going to be a good story. I've been loving those Avengers Forever books. Number two is Strange Academy Finals number one. 
Freshman year is almost over. From day one, people have been wondering who is the savior of Strange Academy and who can bring it all down. The future of Marvel Magic is going to be decided here and it will take far more than the Sorcerer Supreme in a school if Magic has a chance. A lot of Strange Academy spec. Could be a good one. And number one is Venom 12. Now this cover was... Uh, Eddie showed me. It says not final art, but it looks like Codex might be coming back. Venom World continues after the shocking events of Venom 11, which we don't have yet. Not only is Dylan Brock's physical body in such grave condition that it may never recover, but his codex is as well. After a Hail Mary decision made by Venom symbiote last issue, Dylan is about to see the sides of symbiosis, the Clintar, and perhaps even his father that he has never imagined. So it could be really good. As I said before, that was a quick video. Thank you so much. Everything will be available at my store, economicsandcomics.com, right now. If you want to pre-order from me, you can use code ECON to save 6% on everything. And I want to say thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you later.